But the bigger question is not what it just did, but what it's about to do. And one chart specifically that not many are looking at is showing us something completely bone chilling. Right now the price of Bitcoin is having a little itsy bitsy pump. Even though a lot of indications would be showing us that in fact it's time for a teensy weensy dump. So why is Bitcoin having a teensy weensy pump instead of having a little dippy doo -dah? Well, uh, first off, let's take a look at this. So the stock market is actually uh, the SPX having a little bit of a dippy doo times two right now. It's actually pretty gigantic, pretty ginormous uh, down uh, about 0.69 percent. Nice. Actually, very well timed. I, absolutely very nice. Um, but also it's below the 21 and 50 day moving averages here for the first time significantly um, in quite a long time. So we're seeing the SPX down. We're seeing the DXY still sideways after a previous two days of a little dippy doo uh, dumpy doo downside dump. Um, but Bitcoin itself is in a very interesting position. And I wanna talk about that. So first off, let's take a look at this. So the Fed rate hike decision is tomorrow and it's possible we get a pause yet again. We've had one already and then we had a uh, increase after that, but this could be bullish for Bitcoin or it could make a dump. Honestly, I don't really care. Nobody really cares about these rate hikes anymore. Anyway, um, also just in Japanese investment bank, Nomura, their crypto arm laser digital has launched a Bitcoin fund, allowing institutional investors to buy into crypto. Uh, quoted here is saying Asia benefited from what happened in the U S and realized the things they need to avoid the funds. Co-founder Jez Mahidin said here, um, looking to basically adopt some Bitcoin. So this is big, but Mags the Scalping Pro on Twitter has this, and I wanna talk about two things here. So the bump and run reversal pattern he has charted on here, really beginning the structure um, or the formation of this back in like the middle of July. And now he's saying that we're about to see the bump phase followed then by the throwback to the trend line, which would require yet another little dippy doo -dah. but then sometime in next month in October, having that bust again, having another attempt at 30 K, which is really the muchos grandes, uh, mega bust we've been looking for in these charts. 30 K is everything. 30 K is literally, actually, if I would sum up the entire last six months of crypto, 30 K is everything is how I would sum it up. It needs to be broken as resistance, and then it needs to be retested as support. It is everything, and we're still on that very first phase of that. It needs to be broken above, probably significantly, and then come back down ultimately and hold that as support. 30K is truly everything. And this pattern looks very likely uh, a prime candidate for a way of getting us there uh, to 30K. Um, Stock Money Liz is talking about this exactly basically where we should be in this cycle. We can look at A, which is the cycle B, peak, B, the high liquidity support, C, retest, D, bottom accumulation, E, retest of about 30K is, is the retest of this bull market to uh, bear market to bull market or bull market to bear market to bull market. F is the pre-having breakout. And that is what we are the closest to right now. He's saying we already had E, we already had that retest, and now we're going on to the last phase, which ends right around the halving, and then this whole thing begins again. Um, now, I wanna highlight a few things here. So, if we look at Bitcoin's three-day chart, we are seeing hidden bullish divergence. We're also seeing, we're about to get a MACD cross right here on the three-day. So, this is big. Last time we had this, it gave Bitcoin uh, a pump from 25 up to 31, almost 32,000. So the last time we had this MACD cross, it did initiate a giga bust. But this time as well, we have about a three month uh, hidden bullish divergence playing out with the RSI having a low, followed by then a lower low, but the price having a low followed by what is now actually a higher low. And we're, see Bit we're seeing Bitcoin have this bullish divergence, hidden bullish divergence. And this as well could propel us to a short-term move to maybe retest 30K again. Now, remember we talked about a couple days ago or, or when it even happened about a week and a half ago, um, the death cross, right? Uh, with the uh, 50 going below the 200 on the daily chart. 
and how we said when we transition from a, a bear to a bull this cross usually actually doesn't necessarily mean we're about to see more dumping it actually just means we've seen the worst of it we get this cross and then bitcoin kind of goes up trades higher um, shortly after receiving this cross because again obviously moving averages are lagging indicators but you know there there obviously is a lot of uh media hype or media fear around golden crosses and death crosses they they're very um attractive to look at in terms of like a media standpoint now looking at bitcoin let's look at a few charts here um clearly again it, things really took a downturn back at the at middle of august when we broke out of this uptrend we were in but bitcoin it does not mean that we're guaranteed to just see a lot more downside um only this month um a retest of 30k another attempt here absolutely it's it's plausible now this is about the 30k level if i actually pick the best chart to show 30k probably yeah probably this chart bring us back we've already had two significant decent amount of time pumps up into this range once back in the middle of april and then again back um basically the entirety of july a little bit of june and even some of august and if we look at this chart too we have only come down to right around 24 at the lowest so far we haven't really even put in another big test around the 20k range in fact we haven't yet uh, ever since breaking out of this range back in like february of 2023 so uh, are we potentially going to see another retest of 30k still way too early to tell but there are definitely a couple of short-term um, technical analysis indicators actually showing us that, yeah, I mean, we could be in store for a short-term move to the upside instead of the downside. Now, last time I made a video, like four or five days ago, we were still having, we still had a lot of downside pressure, which we still do. However, now we're seeing as time has played out and we haven't, that, that's the key thing. It's like last time I made a video, um, we haven't done essentially anything since then. And if you really want to see price action progress, you want it to do something, you know, if we're like, okay, we're about to maybe get a dump, but then we don't, that's very telling. If we don't get that dump, you might look at that and think, oh, it's just nothing. But if we're in a very dumpy situation where things very easily should dump and there's a lot of support being really tested, but then we just don't, that's bullish. Even though price isn't going up, if we're in a dumpy situation and price holds, that is very bullish in certain circumstances. It doesn't, bullish doesn't only mean going up. It can also mean just doing nothing at a very, very critical dumpy zone, which is possible like what we just did. Now, if we look on the daily chart, again, we're actually, we held, uh, we're going back above a few key daily moving averages. The 50, which is the blue line. The green is the 21 day, but most importantly, the 200 day is actually right up here around 27,700. So this is Bitcoin's first bust back above the 50 day moving average since, well, about two months. It's been about two months. So that in itself also could be a very uh, big indication of Bitcoin's current strength. Uh, so, and remember actually the last two times we touched on the 50 day, we actually got rejected back in very beginning of August and then August 8th. So like August 1st and August 8th, we got rejected twice in a row after we failed to hold it the last like week of July. So. Bitcoin's daily chart, again, showing some strength. Bitcoin's weekly chart, actually, this is very big as well. We have this 200 week moving average right at about 27,800, um, which this could be very bullish for Bitcoin if we can get above it. We kind of held it for support back at the very beginning of June, fell through it in the middle of August. And uh, ultimately we didn't even come back down to though the, to the 50 week moving average right here which would have been about 24,300. We kind of got very, very, very close within like three to $500 of it, depending on which exchange you're looking at. Um, but we didn't break below it. So if Bitcoin actually picks up momentum on the daily and that transfers into the weekly chart and we actually you know, continue to see a little life in Bitcoin, especially as we're not seeing a very bullish stock market right now either. So that's um, promising as well then bitcoin maybe has the chance to actually make a surprise run the last couple of days of september now as i said it's still very 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 early but there is all i'm saying is there is a case to be made the bitcoin actually could have a couple thousand dollar move to the upside over the next couple of days 
which is not something that uh, I would have said a couple of days ago. The reason things have changed now is because Bitcoin actually held very, very well at these dumpy levels. And you can't know that until it actually performs and holds a certain support. And so far it has. I'm still not convinced that this is like some, it's obviously, I mean, wider context. Um, this is not some mega bullish move, right? If we even pumped two or $3,000 back to 30,000, is that very bullish? No, of course not. It's not insanely bullish, but any attempt, if you know, any, in my opinion, any, the more attempts we keep having at 30 K eventually one of them will be the attempt that, that puts us above it. And, um, basically once we're above it concretely, that 30 K level only becomes bigger and bigger support. Take advantage of massive sign up and deposit bonuses. If you're interested in trading, uh, if you sign up with my links in the description to either Femex or Bitget, it takes 30 seconds to sign up. You get massive uh, rewards for joining deposit and uh, sign up bonuses. And additionally, additionally earn a free XPT when you sign up with Femex using my link below. Without you further ado.